era assim. É uma coisa absurda, mas eles tinham um protocolo. It was absurd that they had a protocol. The protocol for torture was like this. I was taken prisoner by a military and semi-military group that was under military control. That was called Operation Manta Rachas. On this, it was a center that was controlled by the Brazilian armed forces. You would be taken to immediately. There would be a strong din and murmuring people shouting. It's a way to throw you off. And then, well, the first thing they would do in my time, well, later, it was different because they'd put hood on people. But when I was a prisoner in Rio de Janeiro, they did the following. They would throw water at you and they would also connect wires to your toes when they still hadn't taken off your clothes. And they would also place on your head and ear these electric cables. The worst thing in torture is electrical shock. And then they would do what was called the parrot perch, which is a method where they would place a stick or a bar under your knees and then place your hands on the same bar. And there they are. And they would combine this technique with electrical shock. The problem is that your ligaments begin to hurt a lot up to and then at a certain point in time, the blood stops running and the pain diminishes somewhat. It's unimaginable. People would withstand it because we were 20 years old. I don't think somebody my age today would be able to withstand it. At the time, I was 20 years old. And if you're 20 years old, you can withstand anything. Basically, the torture was like that. Now, there is a basic component of torture in all torture in all times of history and everywhere. The person who is torturing, the group that is torturing you wants you to perceive, first of all, that you are not part of the category of human beings, and also that no one likes you and that no one has a relationship of understanding with you. That is to say, a relationship whereby I recognize you, you recognize me, and we haven't a certain empathy because we're the same gender or because we have common experiences for several reasons, or even just that because we're all human beings. So they want to short-circuit that perception, and they have two ways of doing so. Aggression, but there's also another, which was to block you. That is to say, by placing a hood over you, and you don't see the person who talking with you. So you have an issue of sensory deprivation, and that is also very common. They want to cut off all contact with the outside world.